Oof, man, I promise I don't feel as tired as I probably look. Hope you guys are all doing awesome today. So here is what we got going on. We actually just got back late last night from a 1500 mile road trip down to Florida for Euro Tripper, which was really, really rad. There was uh, this big spectrum contingent, if you will. Uh, so there was eight spectrum cars, which is, this is so wild to me. That is the largest gathering of Spectrum cars in the U.S. so far. And uh, rumor has it that another event coming up, my favorite event of the year, if you know, you know, uh, will outdo that one. So a lot of fun, just a ton of time in the car, basically 24 hours of driving time. But we stopped at Bucky's on the way back, and then we took a quick detour to Disney Springs, and I bought some Legos because if you guys don't know, I'm basically 12 and my office, maybe I'll take you in my office because I don't know that you guys have ever seen my office. My office is essentially full of, of uh, Hot Wheels and Legos and uh, things like that. So really, really great trip. Great seeing so many of you guys down there. And the R did awesome. I think I averaged almost 25, uh, sorry, 27 miles per gallon. I think it's pretty good. What is weird though, uh, I made that trip down to Orlando, which Fort Myers is another three hours or so past Orlando. When I drove to Orlando for that conference where I did a keynote late last year, I didn't stop for fuel in my wife's Torag. We stopped three or four times for gas uh, in the in the R, but whatever. I'm also, I got you guys chilling here on the uh, Sonic Toolbox, which means I'm parked right next to these babies, these Melto Piston, oh, this auto tracking thing is weird. This is the pist one of the pistons that we melted with nitrous. Here's the other one. Since they're right here, I figured I'd show you guys. And what my plan for these two is, I actually bought two uh, like shadow display boxes. So I'm gonna put the pistons in them, a picture of the Jetta, probably the spark plugs and a couple other things. And uh, I think we're gonna end up giving those away eventually, not right away but um, coming soon anyway, uh, probably towards probably towards March. So we are also, the, big, the biggest news, the most exciting thing going on right this minute is we are mere days away from me picking up the Mark 8R. So on Thursday of this week, you guys are probably gonna see this video on Monday, maybe Tuesday. Thursday this week, we're flying up to Virginia, Northern Virginia, uh, just outside of DC. And we're gonna pick up the Mark 8R on that Saturday, Saturday, February 12. We're gonna have a get together at Lindsay and I have a very limited run of posters that I printed, 100 posters. It's gonna be a couple less than that because I want one and uh, Eli's probably gonna want one too. So there might be a, there'll be a couple less than that, but I'll have about a hundred posters to give away to you guys. So if you're, uh, you see this and you, you wanna come and come hang out, it'll be really, really fun. We're gonna PDI the car, we'll do some videos on it. Uh, we're gonna do a couple little minor tweaks to it, like put the hood, uh, the hood strut in to replace the prop rod. I have some badge skin, basically stickers we're gonna put on the car. And that might be all we're gonna do there. But on the mod note, uh, the exhaust is here. I don't know why I'm standing so awkwardly. The exhaust is here for the car, which is really, really cool. We got a Miltec resonated and non-resonated pipe. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do a video on both so we can hear what the difference is. Does one drone? Does one sound better? Do you get pops and bangs with one and no pops and bangs with the other one? These are all questions I don't know the answer to but we're gonna find out pretty soon. Majority of what's gonna be coming near future is gonna be Mark 8 stuff. And don't forget we have that Cabrio. Also, it is a miserable day out, but I am ordering a clutch for the Cabrio. So we're gonna get that clutch put in. This is the fleet. We're gonna be working on the uh, Tacoma here pretty soon too. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about this old girl, the original. OG R32. It was right about four years ago that I went and picked that car up and like almost to the day four years ago that I'll be getting my my eight, which is, is pretty rad. Also flew to uh, Florida. I'm not going to Florida now, so I don't know why I said it that way, but I flew to Florida to get that one. We're flying to Virginia to get this one. Really, really excited about that. Also with Mark 8, I got my wheels. They came Saturday. Thanks FedEx, they were actually supposed to come Friday. They came Saturday, I dropped them off today to get powder coated. Those should hopefully, I ordered tires this morning too. Hopefully all that is kind of like done right about the time we get back with the car. It might be a little bit further down the road than that. But Monday, I don't know how much I've talked about this, but Monday the 14th, which is when we get back with the R, we'll be back 
the third the thirteenth. But that Monday, I'm going to take the car to the wrap shop and get some quotes on getting it wrapped for a full color change, and which may be stupid on my part. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, I, I've never had a new car that I've instantly modified quite so fast as this one. Also working with 034 on a bunch of stuff, like a ton of stuff. Uh, like I said, I got their hood strut already. And what else do I have? I don't remember what else, but it's a bunch of stuff. It's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. So this week, pretty much what Eli and I are going to be working on is planning our Mark 8 video. I have a couple of calls to take throughout the week, just like random business stuff. And then we go, we go get the Mark 8. Eli is also working on the struggle cut of the Drag Race series with Paul and I. So I think that'll be a super fun video. Oh, also, all the engine goodies for the TT, which is right back here. Everything that could go to the machine shop that needed some kind of either checking or attention is there. So we have the cams. I got a couple new feet for the cam adjuster, a new crank bolt. I think this is an oil pump chain. I'm gonna be reusing the lifters. They're fine. Here's our, our cam bearings. They look really, really good. Well, this is where those new feet go on the cam chain tensioner. I have, I'll show you kind of what else we got for it. This is gonna be a very short and sweet three video series. So as you can see, we got a whole shelf full of goodies. Some of this actually, I don't think is TT parts. Upgraded turbo. Uh, half millimeter overboard pistons, forged pistons, forged rods, injectors, basically everything upgraded. We got our new spoolie boy right over here, which looks like a Chinese knockoff Garrett. Uh, this was allegedly a CTS turbo kit. And if you know, I have sort of a sordid history with CTS, so uh, it, it's kind of up in the air on whether or not this is going to be a good kit, bad kit, terrible kit, an awesome kit. I really don't know. We'll have to wait till we're mid-install to figure that out. Also update on the Black R32 because I got a ton of questions about the Black R32. It's in process. The car itself is at the body shop right now, so there's not a ton that I can do. Really what I should have done is I should have instantly pulled the engine and all the stuff out and immediately sent it to the body shop. But because I live in the South, finding a body shop that wants to work on a car with rust is almost impossible. I probably went through 15 body shops before I found, and you guys might already know this channel, Saab Kyle, who lives about two hours from me, good friend of mine, uh, I, he and a business partner started a restoration shop. I was like, hey dude, can you fix this? They're like, hell yeah. So they are hell yeah fixing it. In fact, I texted them about uh, 45 minutes ago to see if they needed anything from me. So that's at the body shop. And guys, honestly, it's gonna be there a while. These kind of things don't go fast. Uh, and I, I want it better than my skill set allows. I'm definitely not a body guy. That is a, a, an art form all on its own. And uh, a lot of that skill set I might be able to execute on, but I really want this done right. If it were any other Mark IV, honestly, let's be honest with this. If it were any other Mark IV, that thing should have just been crushed. Because it's an R32, I want it done right. You may also be wondering, Charles, you're getting the Mark VIII. What are you doing with your seven and a half? Amazing, amazing question. Because I foresee that car actually appreciating in value or at least keeping up with inflation, if, if we're talking real talk, I'm going to keep it. Uh, it's a very hard financial decision to make, but if this were not a Spectrum R, the yellow one, I would trade it in or sell it. I'd probably sell it in today's market. Because it's Spectrum, because it's special, because it's one of 13 in the US, because it's very limited, I'm going to keep it probably forever. The yellow car and the blue R32 are probably forever cars. Everything else, you could probably make me an offer on, and if the dollars are right, I will, uh, I will sell it. But for now, those two are permanently part of the fleet. Also with the eight, I got a manual transmission versus DSG so that I can differentiate and do some different videos for you guys on manual transmission stuff like shop dap short shifter, uh, probably a clutch if we're gonna ECM mod it because it's the same clutch as a seven head, which was a weak point uh, on that car. So I, I, I honestly, I'm pissed. I'm not happy that it's, it's the same clutch, but because North American market is the only market that got that car, they didn't have any, I say they didn't have any, they didn't allocate any funds. I'm gonna come in and show you guys my office. They didn't allocate any funds to actually do R&D and um, 
and get the proper clutch. So here's my office. You don't see this really in any video. My projecting whiteboard with my kiddos drawings in it. I run two years of calendars. This one is last year. This one is this year. So 21, 22. I got a slew of posters that I need to hang up out in the shop. Here is some of our Star Wars Lego collection stuff. This Ahsoka one is pretty new. Some Kyber crystals. When I tell you I'm basically 12, this is the view out of my office, which is beautiful in the summertime. It's kind of meh in the wintertime. When I tell you I'm basically a kid, more Legos. This is all car stuff, Volkswagen stuff, and something that I'm super jazzed about. Oh, look at look at in the window. <laughs> it looks like uh, like one of those 3D, uh, not 3D, but like some like janky green screen special effects. Oh my god, that's so cool. So that's pretty much where we're at with what's going on this week. Um, some feedback that you guys gave me from last week's vlog or whatever we're going to call it. I really hate the word vlog, so I'm going to try and call it something else is the audio sounded like I was underwater. Really great feedback. I was just using the microphone on board from my iPhone 13. I've ordered a cable that should be here tomorrow. So the next one should have a bit better audio. And look, the whole point of this, the, the main deal with doing this is one, I wanna, I wanna show you guys a little bit more behind the scenes stuff that wouldn't normally happen in like a, a, a proper humble mechanic video. This, in order for it to happen, just to be very honest with you guys, it needs to be very low effort for me, right? Um, I can't spend two days editing a vlog when we have like the full real deal production to go on. So um, adding a lav mic or something like that's probably the maximum amount of production value increase that we're gonna see. Um, but maybe not, who, who knows? You know, I have a couple other cameras that we could also tinker around with to get something that really dials it in. But right now I just have my iPhone 13. It's on a DJI gimbal that's not great. It's just okay, but it's better than a shaky cam Charles. So hope you guys are digging it. If you have other stuff you wanna know about, like, I don't know, the business crap that I do or whatever, like whatever you guys want to, uh, questions or whatever, to make this interesting for you, let me know down in the comments. I wanna make sure I'm tailoring this to you guys. I wanna make sure it's easy work on me, but most importantly, I want this to be fun for all of us. So I'm gonna bounce, have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.